I'm Roger with Synthesizers.com and here's how to do ratcheting on the Q960 sequencer. To do ratcheting, we're going to use two oscillators. One of them is going to be slow and one will be fast. We'll use the slow one to drive our sequencer and our envelope generators. We're going to go into a multiple here because it's going to go to multiple places. The first place it's going to go is to shift the Q960 sequencer. And the second place it's going to go is to the hard sync of the second oscillator. This is the one that's going faster that will provide our ratcheting pulse. The next place that it will go is to the Q128 switch. We're going to use this to switch between the slow oscillator and the fast oscillator. That Q128 switch is going to be controlled with the Q963 trigger bus. But we first have to buffer this output. So we're going to use a Q125 signal processor set at 200%. Here's the output of our trigger bus. And it's going to go through the signal processor and then over to control our Q128 switch. The common output of the switch is going to drive our envelope generators. Here are the two envelope generators down here on this multiple. Now the B switch, I'm sorry, the A switch is going to go down here to the fast oscillator and it's also set with a pulse width of 7. We're going to use our first row for our melody. Now on our trigger bus we have all the switches set to the center so that they're off. But now when I flip a switch to the A position, it will flip the switch here on the Q128 and select the faster oscillator. So in this example, the first step gets two beats from the faster oscillator. Here's the faster oscillator, and we can change its speed. 